Bertha and Bear by Christine Sharp, an online storytime reading with permission from University of Queensland Press. Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. It's lovely to see you today. Our story today is called Bertha and Bear and it's written by Christine Sharp and it's with permission from the University of Queensland Press. Let's jump right in. In a long forgotten garden, in a crumbling hollow tree, there hangs a humming beehive full of busy honeybees. But one bee, called Bertha, sits apart from the hive. She longs for adventure and to see the countryside. A wind whips up, the hive is stuck, and the worried bees are buzzing. We need a big hearted bee to scout out our new home. The queen surveys the workers from her vantage on the throne. She must be brave, she must face fears, and she must be home for tea. Bertha holds a breath and makes a wish. Oh, please let it be me. The bees shake and cower. They hear distant thunder rumbling. Bertha, says the queen, I believe our scout is you. Fly like the wind. Seek our new home. It's vital that you do. Bertha waves goodbye to the other worker bees. They return to making honey and waiting on the queen. Outside the hive, the spring sun shines, but a storm is brewing. Bertha knows the storm is coming swiftly from the west. She must fly fast to beat the rain and triumph in her quest. To the east there lies nothing but the churned up choppy sea. So she flies north towards the woodland to find a hollow tree. Clouds curl and scud across the sky and the wind is howling. Over rooftops, over washing, flapping in the flurry. Past a playground and some children running home in a hurry. Past a farmhouse, past a lake, past birds looping in the air. Down to the fringe of the forest where Bertha spies. <gasps> well, I do hope it's a okay. going to have a sneaky peek. <gasps> oh, it's not quite a home. Mm. <gasps> she spies. <gasps> a bear! Rain bullets down and bathe the ground. Birds cry out a warning. Recalling the Queen's word, Bertha fights the urge to flee. She must be brave. She must face fears. She must be home for tea. So Bertha dares to look the bear squarely in the eye. Say, hey bear, can you help me find a new home for my hive? White lightning cracks the sky and the coal black clouds are tumbling. There's a grumble and a rumble in the brown bear's burly belly as he thinks of beasting cakes, honey toast and wobbly jelly. <gasps> I'd forgotten that bears really like honey. Dreaming of a sticky supper with a cuppa now and then he reveals a hollow tree just a stone's throw from his den the rain clouds clear the storm is spent the grass is gleaming said bear welcome to the woods there is ample room to share here your hive will thrive for flowers blossom everywhere Bring the bees and please call this trunk your home sweet home. If you can only spare some honey and a little honey comb. Sunshine warms the earth 
and the joyful birds are warbling. Now the bees are humming in their new home in the wood. For Bertha faced her fears to find a happy neighbourhood. Here honey flows and bees and bears live in harmony. And that is the end of our story. Especially from Big Brown Bear. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, look, he's enjoying the honey. <laughs> and one brave little bee. <laughs> And there they are at the end of the book. Now, I don't know if you know, but bees are experiencing very tough times of things lately. Unfortunately, with lots of houses being built, it has left not quite so many places for bees to live in. There's not quite as many trees with hollow logs like Bertha found in our book. But did you know that we can make special places for bees to live in called a bee hotel? So I'm going to put some instructions up right next to where you found this book on how to make bee hotels. Maybe you could get your grown up to help you make a bee hotel. So just like Bertha finding a new home, maybe bees might find a new home and live in harmony in your garden. Wouldn't that be nice? I think it would be. Have a good rest of the day. See you next time. Bye for now.